I'm sorry, you can't eat our leaves in the vineyards. Find something else. Bye. I'm talking to my little dear friend over there. He has several other friends. They come around for their naps, but they look at me as if they want to come see me. Now he's going away. Can you guess what today is? Yep, you're right. I am gonna to fish today, but it won't be on this video. But we're going up there and we're fishing in the afternoon. Might have some cocktails and a charcuterie board up there with us. But Billy is on his way to his tackle box to get me some great little flies, fishing flies. And that's what goes on my great vest. Now this video is going to be just full of butterflies and unusual birds and the beautiful things of nature that I still can't get over. We see more of, of Bonnie and Bill in the garden and Moosey riding around in that cute little, I call it a golf cart, but they call it something else. We did go shopping yesterday. Bonnie and I went into the Nez Perce Indian Reservation area. They own all that land about seven miles down the river, not even that much. I'd say maybe four or five. And there's one little shop down there that Bonnie just couldn't wait to take me to. And yes, we did get some things. A lovely woman, Nez Perce woman, quite a celebrity up here by the name of Judy, just showed us all her wonderful things. And these are made by the women and they're made of leather with a little bit of fabric inside. Also my ring, which is also made of leather. Bonnie got some wonderful things, which you will see she is modeling. She's the one that lucked out with the clothes, but we still had fun. We walked to the town of Kamii, and I took pictures of these lovely buildings that were built probably at the turn of the century. And we met a few of Bonnie's friends in town. Now, any of you fishing, I know that Sharon is a fisherman and might enjoy this and my vest. Also in the video, we spent quite a bit of time out in Bonnie's garden again yesterday. Bonnie and Billy were putting up the family history of the family tree and the plaques that Bonnie had painted and I had done all the, uh, the names of the family on there. Oh, what a good doggy. Yes, what a good doggy you are. Look at this doggy. Give me a kiss. Yes. <laughs> he just doesn't want to leave me. We're having so much fun. I hope you can see the beautiful Clearwater River in the background. Now, this is Highway 12 that runs all the way from, I think, Missouri in the east all the way out to, I think, Washington. And it's the route that uh, Lewis and Clark took on their expedition out west. And they met up with the Nez Perce Indians in this area and they left their horses with them and they got some canoes, continued the rest of the way. And on their trip back, they picked up their horses and gave back the canoes. I love the story of, of the beef rending. Now in this river, you catch salmon. So enjoy the video. You're gonna see lots of fun stuff again. And I want you to keep your fingers crossed that I catch my bass. Yes, ladies, I will wear my hat. I know a lot of you have been wearing it. I haven't been wearing hats, but I will. Okay, enjoy. What is it? Can you see his I thought, breast? I thought it's a flinch. Looks like a yeah. flinch. It's birdhouse time. <laughs> now these are not feeders, these are little bird houses, so.
my fun things for today is I am <clears throat> sketching the design for Billy and Bonnie's living family tree out in her garden. I am writing all the names on the plaques. So once again, <laughs> such an easy task, sitting in front of the river. So I've had my coffee, Moosey's out on the porch, and Billy and Bonnie are busy doing their thing. And it's another wonderful day at Bear Hollow Inn. Now I've got all the names of all the generations from Moose and I and Moises and Lilia all set to go all the way down to the grandkids and we'll see if Billy and Bonnie can get these up on that living family tree. What a great idea this was of Bonnie's. Now next thing I have to do, Bonnie and I picked this up at the thrift shop the other day and it's little cherubs in a, a very heavy sign. And I'm going to antique this in sort of a, a burnt umber look. And Bonnie's gonna hang this on the tree out there, kind of right in the middle where everything joins together. So here I sit on the side porch. This is turning into the craft porch. So here's what I've been doing this morning. Billy sent a picture of these butterflies up to Nick, who knows his butterflies and fish and all the wildlife around. And Nick says these are tiger swallowtail butterflies. But some seem to be white and black and some are yellow and black. And Billy says they're going for the moist dirt. Moosey having his afternoon nap after Bonnie served a lovely lunch of salmon and cream cheese and chicken sandwiches. I also have to finish my Irish leprechaun statue over there. He's looking good. And tomorrow some real red um, party hair arrives to put underneath the giant hat. So today I have to paint his, his breeches and the saddlebag in front, and a little bit of gold touches on the shoes and things. I'm having fun. And now Billy's gonna bring out my Irish leprechaun. I'm gonna get busy on painting his pants. Billy and Bonnie had been saving a little bag of play coins for three years and Bonnie glued them all into the big bag and coming down from the pouch and all on the, all the buttons and he looks fabulous even with this Irish whiskey now. And there's Bonnie outside putting some finishing touches on our Irish leprechaun. Bonnie says if this guy jumps the fence, she'll have to send Piper out because he'll be right by the vineyards. And Piper's only job is to just chase them away from the vineyards. Right there, he's just grazing around. But you're matching with your green jacket. You're matching. Mm -hmm. I have to do a, a turn all around just to show you his backside as well. 
See his pants, his breeches, they're a, a shinier, darker color. His socks. And look, we even put little buttons on the back, gold buttons. Isn't this something? Now we have some other hair arriving from Amazon that will hang down here, red hair. Two of Billy and Bonnie's local friends that they've known since they've been here, who we see all the time, and they're two lovely twins. Their other sister makes the most beautiful things from pine needles. These are two sister friends of Billy and Bonnie's. And as you can see with their turnaround goals, show us your lovely hair. And that's all natural, ladies, look at that. <laughs> so they, their sister, Robin, makes these beautiful uh, ponderosa, now you tell me, tell me what your sister Robin ponderosa does. Ponderosa pine needles, she makes earrings and baths. Now ladies, this is, this is kind of hard to understand, but she, she weaves these, it takes her forever of course to make these. This pair, these are little women with little beads put in, in their hair. Some have stones in them. Aren't these gorgeous? All native pine cone needles. Look at these. These are little turtles put into these gorgeous earrings. They're all drop earrings. Every one is different. Look at the baskets. Look at the work put into these. All woven. Honestly, it's unbelievable, these designs. Thank you well, for bringing these. Thank I'm you. going to enjoy this. Thank, Thank you, you, girls. Well, here we are, walking the town of Kamiai. Let's go. We're passing through the uh, bakery that Ooh. we have here. Nice. It's called Hearthstone. They love it. They also own a bed and breakfast. Oh, really? Pretty little cami eye. Yep. Surrounded by mountains and beautiful greenery. Cute little flower shop. This is the fire station in cami eye. Lots of trucks. They have more trucks than places at home. How do you get the wash house? This is where you come there. It's a, laund uh, a laundry. Here comes Bonnie in a fashion show. Woohoo! Look. I have one question. Where's your motorcycle? I know. Just one bucks. 25 bucks. Wasn't this amazing? This is my grease. This is pro. Oh, yeah, you, you look just <laughs> like you're out of grease. You're right. So cute. Let me show you the earrings that I did buy there. I love them. They're leather and they're made by the ladies and they have carved leather. And in the middle is some form of a velvet type of a fabric. Aren't they beautiful? It looks like perhaps the construction of the 
living family tree is about to start. I was right. Bonnie headed for another task. Let me see. <laughs> oh, you're putting that up cute. And remember that little cherub thing? Um, I antiqued it and it looks much cuter and that's going up there too. I'm looking at the pear tree and Bonnie has pointed out that the fruit is already forming on the trees. Look at the grapes forming. What are you doing there, Bonnie? Um, we're trying to put some things for the beans and the long yard beans to climb up to. Oh, right. The climbers for the beans, yeah. Yep. Doesn't this just make you want to go out and plant a garden full of berries and beautiful irises? The irises are easy to grow. Or of her grapevines up against the uh, future wine house. That seems to be delayed until tomorrow again. Billy said that's going to take a couple hours of work before he gets to the transferal of some of the wine. So I think we have to wait another video or two for that. Hello, my sweetheart. How are you? Are you just hanging around mommy and daddy? Yes, you're doing a good job. These irises are so beautiful. I want these. Look at all these colors. White and peach, beautiful purples and wines. And here's a peony plant that's not out yet. Look at this white one and yellow. Oh, I want this garden. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, they're gorgeous. Yellows. These are so beautiful. Are so beautiful. Bonnie's going to give me some more of her bulbs. And we will have them at home, hopefully. I'm just... Love with. I think it's my favorite flower. Especially this color. This beautiful peach. Ah, do you all grow irises? They are beautiful. Hello, little sweetheart. I know you see me. following them. Such a sweet dog. Billy just woke up and was telling us that last night, oh yes, that last night two or three deer did get in um, and unfortunately Piper didn't hear them. If the dog gets a scent of deer in the middle of the night, he will run out and chase them from the vineyards and uh, just chases them basically. They hop over the fence into uh, the, the wild land on both sides. But they did do quite a bit of damage to the vineyards. He has alarms that he has to set now because he realizes that Piper is not going to catch every episode during the night. And a lot of times that's when they get to the vineyards. So they do have some alarms that they'll set and that will not only wake up Piper, but Bonnie and Billy as well. The dog will just run out, chase them away from here and off they go and they go back to sleep again. <laughs> So it's all part of the work of keeping these vines going. So you got to be on your toes for the next episode, okay? Good kiss. 
Okay. This is the equipment that Billy has to put in to keep the deers away. What is it, Bill? These are the sensors for the deer when they walk through the light. It sets an alarm off in the bedroom and we let Piper out. Looks good. And those are all the stakes. How many of those do you have in there? There's four on each side. <clears throat> and that's enough. Unfortunately, they weren't up last night, but they will be today. More work at Bear Hollow Inn. You are, you are such a good dog. Yes, you are. I'm just You're telling me that you love me. Huh? What are you sniffing? Are you sniffing my ears? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to miss this dog, that's for sure. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I want to try once again and get this up by noontime. So I'm going to close and woo, you're sharp. Keep your fingers crossed that I catch my bass and I'm sure we'll have a wonderful time up by the pond this afternoon. And Billy's gonna get busy cleaning up that winery a little bit so that we can go in there. Now life is going to seem very dull when I get home. <laughs> I hope you still love me and watch me. But this is the type of living at this point in our lives I'd love to be living. Goodbye for now. I love you all and thank you so much for watching and enjoying this series on our stay in Idaho at Bear Hollow Inn. God bless us all. See you soon.